Hi guys, I'm William Berry. Welcome to Alcan ADV. Today we're going to talk about an itinerary for my upcoming trip. Um, I'm not going to go into great detail, but basically give you guys an overview of generally where I'm going and, and the routes I'm going to take and some of the stuff I'm going to see. Anyway, we'll get into that right after this. <laughs> I'm leaving here in just over two weeks, so it's uh, kind of crunch time for me. Pretty much got my itinerary figured out. Uh, the maps that I'm going to show you guys came from Road Trippers. I have the Road Trippers app, uh, the free version. So I can't map out the entire route all in one fell swoop. I have to take it in sections. Anyway, that's all right. I'm not going to buy it. So the free version has uh, enough features to get me by. So when I leave, I'm going to be coming down the Cassiar Highway through Canada. Uh, this is a highway that goes more out toward the coastline uh, and supposedly it's very pretty. I haven't been down it, uh, I've heard great things about it, but every time I've gone down or come up I've traveled the, uh, the regular Alcan. So I'll be traveling that on the way back up and the Cassiar on the way down. Uh, after that I'm going to be going down the Rocky Mountains into Banff and down into Montana. And from there, uh, going to go see Mount Rushmore, uh, down through Nebraska, out to Kansas City to see an ant, um, and then up to Illinois, just under the border uh, with Wisconsin, uh, to see my uncle for a while. Little note on these maps, um, all the waypoints on there, they don't mean anything to me. I just had to put them on there uh, to get the maps, the route to go where I wanted. So they're nothing special. They're just here for that. I think that's the first leg. Uh, the next leg on the Road Trippers app is from there to somewhere out in Kentucky, I think. Um, nothing much through here, I'm just mainly making miles. And then after that, I'm going to go uh, ride the tail of the dragon and go out into North Carolina and uh, see a good friend of mine that moved there a while back and I haven't seen for quite a while. Also, when I'm in North Carolina, I'm going to go out somewhere and hit the coast because I realized uh, about a week ago that I'm going to be going basically coast to coast. I'm going to be going North Carolina and circuitously all the way out to uh, Oregon and Washington. So if I hit the coast both places, um, I will have gone coast to coast and hey, why not? I mean, that's, that's great. So from North Carolina, I'm going to go down through South Carolina and, uh, and then around through Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, uh, and out uh, toward Texas. I've got an uncle to see in Texas and my grandmother too. After that, I'm basically making a beeline of it uh, out across New Mexico and up to uh, Everride. I'm gonna, I've booked a ride with him, a uh, private ride for one day and uh, I'm really looking forward to that, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go see, uh, see him and do that. After that, I'm going to come back around and circle around a little bit. I've got a couple of friends to see in Arizona. And then I'm going to head up um, out across Death Valley and up to Lone Pine, uh, see Mount Whitney. Up in Lone Pine, I don't know if you guys know this, but... Uh, <coughs> A lot of the old western movies were filmed uh, right in the Alabama hills next to Lone Pine. Um, all the Roy Rogers, Hopalong Cassidy, uh, all those old, a lot of John Wayne movies. Um, basically every other old western movie that you see uh, was probably filmed up there. And then, and then some others that weren't westerns like uh, Tremors and, and a few other things like that were, were filmed up there as well. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to go see it up there. That's a great place to ride. There's trails absolutely everywhere and I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, after that, I'm gonna go up to Lake Tahoe and spend a couple of days up there. That's kind of a, a second little home. I've spent a little bit of time up there and uh, I really like the area. Uh, then I'm going across Highway 50 out to uh, Ely and probably spend a day in Ely and, uh, and then going out to basically making a beeline out to Moab. And uh, Moab, I am going to just 
ride the trails and spend a few days and, and have a blast out there. After Moab, I'm going to go up through Colorado and see an uncle in uh, Wyoming. Go out across Idaho and uh, see a couple of friends in Oregon. Go up, I'm going to cross the big bridge at Astoria, across the uh, Columbia River, and uh, that'll, that'll put me coast to coast. Then I'm going to go around Washington a little bit, see a couple of people, and then head up. I'm going to go out to eastern Washington, I, I really like that area, and uh, there should be some good riding out there. I haven't ridden a motorcycle out there, obviously, but uh, I've driven there in a car a, a few times, and, and it's, it's a gorgeous area. Anyway, so from there I'm going to go up uh, into Canada, and up to Dawson Creek this time, instead of uh, out across the Cassiar Highway, I'm going to go up St. George and, uh, and straight up to Dawson Creek. And from there I'm going to hit the Alcan all the way clear up to Fairbanks. I want to do that in, uh, in one fell swoop, the, the whole Alcan all the way up from Dawson Creek up to Fairbanks. Anyway, see a couple of people in Fairbanks and then basically make my way back home. Uh, I'm down on the Kenai Peninsula and so that's a pretty general overview of the miles I'm going to be doing, the route I'm going to be taking on this trip. If you're somewhere around this route and would like to meet up somewhere, uh, feel free to drop me a line. My email address is in the description and uh, we'll see what we can do. I'm not going to have a whole lot of time, especially on the first 10,000 or so miles of the trip um, until I go to Everrides. After that I'm going to have a little more leeway, but not a whole lot. Anyway. Also, if you're a little further away from the route and uh, feel like taking a little road trip yourself, that'd be awesome too. Uh, I'd love to meet you guys. Just drop me a line in the email and uh, we'll see what we can work out. Anyway, that's about all I've got for you guys today. Uh, as always, throw something down in the comments if you want to tell me something or just shoot the breeze and tell the world something. Uh, you guys ride safe and, and we'll see you next week.